Hey, what's up? Little final video, Chrome 8's. Been doing a restore on the ones on the left. Wanted to give uh, give some screen time to my pair on the right, which is actually different than the pair on the left. Uh, obviously, I swapped the laces to white, and they did originally come in black, but the uh, carpet or chenille colors are distinctly different. And uh, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, they're a half size apart as well, so you'll see some some minor tweaky differences in the in the uh, anti inversion straps, as they're called, when they released in '93 originally. Um, as for the restore, this is the pair I was uh, doing a midsole repaint on. So pulled all the paint, and you take a tiny bit of acetone to that spot right there, but. Now that I'm looking at it, but no big deal. Um, anyway, this is how they turned out. Pretty clean. Got a little bit of a hard time pulling away my paint on the uh, the toe midsole. Like right there, it chipped a bit, which is kind of irritating, but not the end of the world. There's still paint underneath that because acetone didn't remove it all, but I mean, we're talking about like a millimeter of paint. I'm not too freaked out about it, but just as kind of frustrating to spend so much time painting them and then have that happen. But taught me a little lesson about taping off and just got to be really careful with the lines you make with tape. Show them on the other side too. These sides didn't fight me nearly as much with the tape removal. That's how they look overall. And in terms of the and so, inspection on the back too. You look at my older videos to see how hammered those were. I did also lower the shade, a couple shades. I didn't really want to per se, but I'm fine with the way it came out. It's a really close match to um, the darker shades of gray on the patches. So, it's cool. It's really close to some of the tongue colors too. But this one in particular, I'd say. But, um, yeah, they're clean. I mean, for it, happy with the way they turned out. So, to look at the uh, this pair, these are pretty crazy. I picked these up. Um, no, no joke, I got these for 15 bucks. I originally thought they were fake, and I did a legit check on Soul Collector. And uh, you'll see that the carpet colors have distinctly different colors. It's kind of a, almost a chambray color here. And then like a like a violet or a lilac or a kind of a some kind of bluish purple and then like kind of a dark purple and I don't think the camera is gonna pick this up because it's pretty much purple and it probably looks blue to the camera lens but um, yeah these are uh, these are pretty crazy like they're really nothing like these here and um, you know at first I thought maybe sun got to them or something but I mean these look like specifically dyed a certain color and uh, I guess 11 and a half was a sort of common size to do experiments with and these are 11 and a half you can also tell by the uh, two threes I put one moving this over here so you can see the size difference this is the 12 on the right now and the size 11 and a half on the left I can wear both these because they run kind of big, but um, this is definitely smaller than this. I mean, even just comparing to my finger. So, a um, little tiny, you know, jumping up that half step in size does make a pretty big difference. Same thing with, goes with the, the chrome on the Velcro straps. Quite a bit larger on the 12s than the 11 and a halfs. So, little tiny things, nothing big, but... Anyway, the colors are crazy, so at first I thought I had fakes, and uh, I don't. I mean, they're just, they're absolutely 100% authentic. Um, I believe they came out of two different factories. These ones are Chinese. Um, all the date stamps are there. This is the size 12 pair with the standard tongue. Made in 03, January. And I believe these are out of Taiwan. Made in 03 in February different factory oh excuse me China too I don't know why I thought there's Taiwan so yeah they're both out of the same country just made about a month apart on the start dates and uh, yeah 
they're as legit as they get. They just had some crazy factory swap on the tongue colors. Probably got stopped um, midway through the production process and swapped over. Maybe they were done as like a sample without a sample tongue or a sample tag. Um, usually they're Fang Tay on the ones I've I've seen. But yeah, so when I when I got them, I was like, shoot, I might as well get a regular pair too. So being totally honest, these were fifteen dollars and these were twenty bucks. That included shipping. So <laughs> I'm I'm uh, not really hurting for a pair of crumbs, but you know, it would be cool to have a really fresh like dead stock pair someday because I really love eights. But um, I figured I'd make these look even more distinct by throwing white in there. You can keep the hate comments to yourself. They're each to each their own. I mean, it's not a permanent swap, but I do like the way that makes the the jump man and the twenty three pop on them. And um, you don't see a lot of lace anyway on eights with the straps, and I usually wear mine strapped, and it picks up the midsole patch. Well, well that's the mud guard patch, whatever. But so yeah, anyway, they kind of wanted to give these a little bit of feature time since they're a pretty unique pair, and just to show the difference um, in the final restore of the size 12 pair on the left versus the 11 and a halfs. Um, you'll see, obviously they're duller, but these are also worn down. Um, it's kind of surprising how the paint wears. Because these shoes, except for like a couple tiny little nicks on the toe, they really don't show much wear at all. Um, my soles are, yeah, I mean, they're not even dirty, really. They just, I don't know why the paint wears so quick for something that has a, a sole that looks good. I mean, that's like worn all the way down to the black foam. Just like the size 12s were before I repainted them. But yeah, getting side by side, I mean, it's a couple shades difference, like really tiny difference in the shading. Obviously, a little lighter gray on the stock size, but stock color, excuse me. But yeah, they, uh, they'll they probably get repainted too. I'll probably try to keep these a little closer to this tone um, since, you know, I had nothing to lose with these. They, I picked them up so cheap. These are a little bit. You know, they're more special shoes or unique in the tongue colors and all that. Um, but the midsole gloss is actually close, a lot closer to how all the 2007 releases look. Um, I have every 2007 retro except for the uh, Stealth 8s because I don't really care for those. I like the 3M on the back, but I don't know if I'd ever wear them. They're just a really white shoe to me. But I have every other 8 retro that's a general release. And uh, Chrome's rank up there as a favorite. They were definitely made a little different in 2002 and three than they were in uh, 07, not just from a paint quality standpoint, which really isn't a whole lot worse than the 2007s, but you'll notice like the holes, the perforated holes here are, are um, further apart than they are on the ankle patch. It's a pretty distinct difference if you know what to look for. On the 07 retros, all these are the same diameter apart. The same same uh, spacing between the perforation holes on the panel and the ankle patch. So that was a little tweak. Same thing with the countdown pack eights. That's the one major change. Um, that and the paint probably sucks worse than any of the other eights on the countdown packs. But so anyway, just another kind of an interesting look at them. So thanks for subscribing, checking out the paint. It's hard to make a long-winded video on two pairs of shoes, but. Um, did want to give these some screen time, kind of deserve it. I've never seen another pair like them, probably never will. Um, there were people with hundreds of Jordans that had never seen these before, but could verify they were legit. Uh, there's other crazy th stories about people with like Jordan 10s that had upside down Jumpman on the back that came like that from the factory. Like every now and then a few weirdo pairs or a couple hundred pairs sneak out. I mean, there might've been a thousand of these made and maybe 950 people didn't know what they had and they're already trashed and in the garbage and you know I salvaged this one and got it from a guy who didn't know what he had and there they are so kinda like having both um, I wear them both uh, no shoes too special to wear for me but you know that's how I am today I'm a quick feature on my my kicks on my feet rocking the OG flu games so um, just got these a couple weeks ago, and leather's just so damn nice on these shoes. These are size 12 and a half. Um, actually run kind of small, so 
So, so I suppose I fit fine, but there's no way I could wear an 11 and a half in the shoe for my foot. I like doing the laces like that, so you can see the two three on there. But um, yeah, they're they're definitely a quality release, and I like um, to me they look better on foot than they do on a shelf. I don't know. I actually even prefer them almost with jeans over shorts. But playoff twelves are my my favorites or grails. I have the. The 04 retros as well as the OGs, but I didn't have flu games until recently, so I needed to pick those up. So anyway, that's it.